Hello and welcome to Angela's Cook Kitchen. Tonight I'll be making pork chops and french fries, okay? And so what I have here, already ready to go, is I have my house blend seasonings. I'm going to tilt you down so you can see what I'm doing here. So I have my house blend seasonings. I'm gonna try to turn Facebook around a little bit, okay? And what I did was I stirred all my house blend seasonings up in a bowl. And if you would like to know which house blend seasonings I use, and these seasonings that I have tonight that I'm using for the pork chops, these are good to be used on anything pork, pork roast, pork chops, chicken, um, anything. Here, let me get my bag, please. I'm sorry, guys, excuse me for a minute. I've also set aside a clean Ziploc bag, okay? And what we have in here is our self-rising flour, okay? You can use any self-rising flour that you choose to use, all right? And so what, now what I do is I take my house blend seasoning mix and I will pour them over into my self-rising flour, all right? And I'm gonna move this out the way so it can be trash in a little bit, all right? And I just simply shake it up. Like I said, you would love to know what seasonings that I use, just inbox me. Send me a message or you can comment in the messages below and I will um, inform you, okay? I appreciate everyone tonight. I know it's a last minute situation, but hey, we're always cooking over here in the Davis household. We're always cooking. So what I like to do is just take one or two and I'm using a deep fryer and this deep fryer was purchased at Walmart. You can buy these deep fryers. And this is a practice Silex deep fryer. Okay. And I like to use the deep fryer because it doesn't take too long for the meat to get done. It takes about a gallon and a half of oil. Alright. So now what I do is I shake off that excess oil. I bring the fry basket up. Alright. And that's what we're doing. Right? You don't want to have to all that extra flour in your in your oil. Right? And so we're gonna, actually I'm gonna put one more in here. I think I got like seven or eight pork chops in here. And this can fry like three or four at a time, but you don't want to make it messy. You know, you want some pretty, pretty pork chops. And I'll tell you, this deep fryer, it don't take long to fry these at all. It really doesn't. It don't take long at all. So you saw me put the first two in. And this oil is on 375. It's really, this deep fry gets hot really fast. We're just gonna drop them down slowly. to the side and what I have already prepared is my pan so when the pork chops come out of the deep fryer I'll show you the pan that I have ready already okay and so this is what we have we have a cooking sheet we have foil under it okay non-stick foil by room like I told you I have clean paper towels on top and that's what we'll put our pork chops on okay when they come up special tool that I use to pull my meat out of the uh, deep fryer with. Okay, just bear with me one moment while we get this special tool that I use. Okay, 
These are going to make some nice, beautiful pork chops. You'll be amazing on what they look like when they come out. It doesn't take long at all for these pork chops to fry. It really doesn't. And that's what it saves time for you standing on top of the stove. You're waiting for all these meats to fry. You got to do multiple batches at a time. Mm-mm, honey. You go on down to Walmart and you get your Proctor Silex. That's what this is. I'll be honest with you. You can put chicken wings in here, putty wings. You can put a four or five pound bag in here and fry them all at once. You can take a five pound bag of french fries and put them in here at once, but I don't. I split it into two batches, okay? And um, my house seasoning mix that I use, I'll also be selling these as well. So that'll be coming in for, information on that will be coming soon. Probably within the next two weeks, I'll have information up and ready about the seasoning. I'm going to have all different kinds of seasonings for the meats, your collard greens, your vegetables, your sweet potato pies, things like that. I'll have all different seasonings that you can use. Your peach cobblers, I'll have that up and running very soon. Okay? Also, we're behind the scenes. We're working on our cookbook as well. So, the recipes that I share with you that I'm cooking, the whole entire recipe will be in my new upcoming cookbook. All right? We'll get more information about that. Um, as we cross that bridge in another month or so. But right now we're working on our seasoning. So we'll have those up and ready very soon and we'll keep you updated with that information. And this mix here tonight is good on chicken, pork chops, um, uh, pork roast, pork tenderloin. Oh my God, you can do anything with this. You can use it on the ribs, whether you're baking them, whether you, some people like to deep fry them. You, you're getting ready for the holidays. You can season it with it. I tell you, it's good without the flour. I'm just saying the seasoning without the flour, of course. And we're going to have good affordable prices for our seasonings as well. And sometimes when you have your meat in the basket, just pick it up. Let me show you what they're looking like so far. See that? Golden brown. Look at there. You don't have all that clump. You know how you're... Your deep frying pork chops and you skillet on top of the stove. You know, you got your cast iron or whatever skillet or you want to use a pot. I've used a pot before too, honey. Trust me. You know how when you're frying it and you got the clean grease in the pot and you're frying your, your meat and then all of a sudden the, the oil is turning a dark color because you have excess amount of flour. See, that's why it's good to use your bag. Put your flour in it first. Get your seasoning together. And like I said, once you purchase my seasonings, you will be completely 100% satisfied. You'll love them. You will, it will change your game, honey, when it comes to your meat. Trust me. Trust me. It's going to change your game when it comes to cooking. Okay? Of course, as I told you before, I'm from Georgia. And I'm a southern cook, baby. Our entire family likes to cook. Well, some of them love to cook. And so, yes, this is what I'm good at doing. I learned from a grandmama. Like I told you, my late Aunt Mary. Um and my mother, okay? All right, I'm gonna show you these pork chops, honey. And what you wanna do is you wanna flip them, okay? Ooh, honey, they smell good too, honey. Yes, Lord. Come through, pork chops. We in here doing it tonight, honey, yes. Come on, pork chops. Yes, Lord, honey, we in here doing it. Pork chops smelling good up in here, honey, yes. And I'll tell you something, okay? It might sound a little strange to you, but I'm going to share something with you that I love to eat. So when I'm eating my hot french fries coming up out of the oil, I'll tell you something I like to do. Most people get ketchup. You know, if you lived in a major city back in the day, like New York, Virginia, Washington, D.C., Atlanta has them too. Um, you have a box, big boy, or some may notice it called Shoney's. What I like to do is I take a little bit of ketchup and I have a little bit of special sauce on the side with my hot french fries. Oh my God, honey. I like to dip my french fries into my ketchup and my special sauce. I love that. It tastes so good. So good. I love hot french fries. Fresh hot french fries. Fresh out the oil. I don't like that when you walk in a restaurant and your french fries have been sitting under the light. No, mom ain't got time for that sugar. Mm -hmm. Mom don't have time for that. And just like that, these pork chops are done, baby. These pork chops are done. Look at that. Look at that. 
let them rest for a minute. And then I, like I said, I got the, the pan ready to go. Our pan is ready to go, honey. Yes, it is, honey. Like I said, I got some nonstick foil. And the reason why you want to put a piece of foil on your pans for your meats is because it retains the heat. So you put the foil on your pan first, okay? Then you lay your paper towel down to drain them, okay? Let me show you these pork chops, honey. See that? Look at that. Let mama show you about them pork chops, baby. See that pork chop right there? Lord, have mercy. Let me help y'all out with that pork chop, baby. Yes, Lord, come through. Look at that pork chop, baby. Mm-hmm. Did I not tell you something different tonight? Change your game, honey, when it comes to cooking. Look at there. Look at the pork chops. Beautiful. Look at there. Well done, honey. Yes. All right. So we're going to keep moving right along. That was the first three. Okay. We're going to start on the second one. I think these are the last three in here. I'm just going to do... Oh, no. Actually, we have we have three more left in here. So what we're going to do... We're going to go ahead and put all four of these in one basket tonight. So we just did three. We're going to do the last four together. Look at that. You see how you get that in there? Evenly mixed very well. Mm-hmm. always like I said you always clean as you go along be sure to get that excess flour off you don't want all that in your oil and one thing about this basket I'll share with you and you'll learn it in the book when you purchase one is it tells you I think that you can only use it after four you know four times you know you don't want you ever been in a restaurant and your, your fries look so dark brown they didn't change the oil honey Mm -mm. Read that book. It'll tell you how you keep your stuff nice and good. One thing about me, I preserve my my dishes. I preserve my cookware. I take very good care of it. Nobody want nothing coming out scorching and burning and mm -mm, looking like it don't been in a fish fight somewhere. You hear me? Uh-uh. Mommy got time to be serving that up. Okay, look at that. See that? I'm just going to lay that on top of there. And then we're just going to go ahead over here. And we're going to pick up the last one and put it in here. Just like that. I'm going to shake this one up. This doesn't take long at all. And when you eat the meat with the house blend seasoning mix, you'll be able to taste the seasonings. <coughs> oh, it make your meat taste so much better. Okay, now we're going to go ahead, we're going to slowly drop that back down in the oil. Alright. And after these come up, mm -hmm. sorry that was my Bluetooth, I'm sorry. After these come up out the oil, what we're going to do next is, let me get this over here to the sink, okay? Some hot soap and water so that after I'm finished cooking, I can go ahead and wash these up with the dishwasher. Y'all probably say, wash them up. Yeah, honey, wash up your dishes. I have one thing about it, you don't want to put dishes in the dishwasher with food still on them. Your dishes won't come back clean. What you want to do is wash your dishes up with some hot, soapy water. Rinse them off, put them in the dishwasher, go ahead and start to fight. Okay? Yes. My grandmother always taught us to clean as you go along. And my mother did too. You know what I'm over here doing, right? I got this soapy hot water. And you probably said, well, she got that oil going. Don't worry, mom ain't getting it up. Mm -mm, we're not going to handle how far it in here. I just want to clean this area where the meat was. You want a clean space. Okay.
right? I think this is going to be it right here. So make sure we got everything up. I'm sorry, this is just the way I love the clean. I'm going to be coming back one day and show you all how to make um, some corn dogs. We're going to be doing corn dogs probably one day next week. We're going to do some corn dogs. I'm going to show you all the easy, simple way to make corn dogs. Okay? Save your money, honey. My kids, I have some kids that love corn dogs. Save your money. I'm going to show you how to make them corn dogs right here in the deep fryer. It's going to take you three to four minutes. They'll be done. Trust me when I show it to you. You're going to be like, wow, you can do that? I'm going to show you how to do it. First, I'm going to show you how to make the homemade batter for it, which is nothing but cornbread. I'm going to show you how to make that. And I'm going to save a little bit of the cornbread batter, and I'm going to show you how to do it in here. You're going to be amazing. Your kids will love them. Your grandchildren will love them. Your kids will love them. Hell, you might love them. Trust me. You don't want that dripping mixed up. You want some of that grandma old-fashioned homemade cornbread. That's what you want. This is going to be done shortly, and then all we have to do, after you use the same oil, because after tonight this oil is done, you're emptied out, get this machine cleaned up, moving on out of its way, because um, we're going to do something different tomorrow. So um, next up, we're going to fry some french fries, I'm going to show you how beautiful those french fries come out, okay? This is a lifesaver here. We have many other ones, Hamilton Beach or whatever. But this one here is a Crocker Silex, and you can get both of those down at Walmart. Or you can go to Amazon, um, I'm not sure if QVC sells them, but anywhere you can find one of these deep fries. Save yourself time and energy for cranking up that stove and standing on your feet all day. You see how long these pork chops took? It didn't take that long at all. Look at this pork chop, look at this pork chop. Now I'm going to flip them in just a minute, and I'm going to flip them. I'm going to bring my pan over here with the other ones that got done. I'm bring this pork chop over here to you. I'm going to adjust the panel down just a little bit more so you can see that. There you go right there. Can you see that? Let me get this down here. Can you see that? Perfect. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Sure you get a good angle of those pork chops. There you go. Okay, there you go. Hello, Miss Pam. Hello, Kathleen. Thanks for joining us. Okay. Thank you all for joining me tonight and supporting my page. Truly appreciate it. I'm not a chef. I'm just a Georgia pizza from Georgia and I love to cook and I love to share my my meals, my recipes with people. Love it. Miss Pam, you've been at my house before. <laughs> Miss Pam is my Mary Kay lady. She's the lady who got me into Mary Kay. I was already in there when I was stationed at Fort Benning with my husband, Fort Benning, Georgia. But then when we relocated, Miss Pam, I met Miss Pam, and so, yeah, that's my Mary Kay agent. So if anyone looking for Mary Kay, Miss PJ Moore, Pamela Moore, and that's your lady. She's on Facebook here. Like I said, if you're interested in knowing which house seasoning mix I use, just leave me a comment or inbox me and I'll get you the information. Okay. So we cooked three earlier. It's just these. Just push them down there. Oh yeah, baby. These bad babies are about to come up. Don't take long. I'm 
flip them over for a few minutes. Very pretty golden brown crust. like that. Very pretty. Golden brown pork chop. Very pretty. Look at there. Didn't take long at all. See there? Save you time, honey. Just standing over that hot stove. You've been working all day long. Don't take you, don't take long at all. So next, here's what we gotta do. Stay with me. I'm gonna come back over there. And what we going to do, because we don't have time to be on the hot stove, right? No, we don't. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop some of these crinkle cut french fries. Right. It's just an empty whole bag over there. This is half of a five pound bag that I stopped by and purchased. Everybody know they got some french fries. My family loves french fries. Baby girl, can you help mama? Here. Get some fresh So now we're going to lower this basket down. Now that's half of a five pound bag. Slowly level it down. Don't take long for it to cook it off. Okay? First came off the pork chop. Mmm. Had a little bit of that crust that came off the pork chop. Tastes so good. And the perfect look on these french fries. They're going to be perfectly brown when they come up. Don't take these french fries long. Probably about five or ten minutes. And then after that, dinner's done. You don't have to wait for the stove to heat up, for the fries or the pork chops, honey. Everything over that little basket with that clean oil. A gallon and a half of oil is all it takes. You save yourself time from standing over that stove. And your family will have dinner in no time. Or think about it. Kids are out of school for the summer. Your grandma, mama, dad, whoever, sister, brother. They want a little snack. Go in there and turn on the deep fryer. Throw them something in there. You're good to go. You not waste no time. And again, I thank you all. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube page, please do me a favor. Um, subscribe and share my YouTube page. It's Angela's Southern Comfort Dishes on YouTube. Also, please share with a friend, a co-worker, a neighbor, a relative, whoever you may know on Facebook. I'm at Angela Southern Comfort Dishes. Like, follow, share. Thank you so much for, you know, supporting my pages. I really appreciate it. This oil is on 375 degrees.
they're starting to heat up. I hope that the sound is coming through to you guys very clear. If you could let me know, I appreciate it. We were able to work on our sound because I know the last time I did a live, some of you said you couldn't hear me. So I hope that you're able to hear me just clear tonight, very clear. Okay. It takes a little bit of time here with these french fries. And what we're going to do is we're going to get a different set of tongues for the french fries. So when they come up, we'll have a... This Friday night, I, want, I don't have a time set just yet. But as soon as I get it by Thursday, I will share it with everyone. I'll be going live this Friday night on YouTube. And I'll go live on Facebook as well. Um, and what we're going to do, and this, these are clean. These are for the, these are the shorter ones. These are for, I have sets on everything. Everything I buy is sets. <laughs> we're going to do um, a video because the 4th of July is this Saturday. So this Friday evening, I'll be doing a surprise video. I'm not going to share more details about it right now. You'll find out Friday night. But what I will share with this is anybody who's looking to make potato salad for the holiday, come here Friday night. I'll put up the information Thursday night as to what time I'll be going live th uh, Friday night. We're going to make our homemade potato salad, my Aunt Mary's homemade potato salad. I'm going to take my time. We're not going to rush. We're going to show you step by step. Okay? All over again, we're just going to tell you slow. We're not going to rush. And so that way, if you're looking to make potato salad for the holidays, whether it's the 4th of July, the next holidays coming up later on this fall, you'll know how to make it. And the videos will be on my YouTube page as well. Okay? So that'll be Friday night. I'll put up the information this Thursday as to what time I'll be going live Friday night. Okay? And then also... Um, I'll be getting my meats ready this Friday night, uh, right after the potato salad is done. I'll probably come back on. Oh, no, I won't come back on. I'll upload a video showing you how I prepare my ribs for the holidays when I'm cooking. Even if it's not the holidays and I want to cook ribs, um, I'm going to show you how I do my ribs, how I clean my ribs, and what I do to season my ribs, and then what I do to... Uh, you know, keep them cool in the refrigerator. I'm going to show you everything step by step so that when the 4th of July comes, all you have to do is wake up, remove that foil off that meat, and if you're going to put it on that grill and the gas or the charcoal grill, guess what? You don't season, you don't clean the meat, you season your meats. They've covered up all night in the refrigerator. You're going to let those seasonings marinate through that meat all night long, baby, getting those flavors up in there. And then Saturday, you're going to remove that foil. You're going to put that meat on those hot grills or if you don't want to use those hot grills and you want to not get sticky and mucky and you want to use the oven hey baby that's fine too i'm gonna share all that i'm gonna upload a video about that friday night after i do my potato salad i won't go live with you for the meat i'll just upload the video okay i'll do that and then i'll also upload a video saturday on my baked beans okay i'll show you that trick i'll do that early saturday morning or early Saturday afternoon, I'll share a video with you about the baked beans. That you can put a little twist to your baked beans. Mom got it for you, baby. Call a little twist to it. Okay, I'm going to show you something. All right, we're going to have a great 4th of July or any other holiday you may have coming up. I'm going to show some things with you. It's nothing, nothing out of the way, nothing hard. Everything I do is quick, simple, easy, and to the punch, just like that. hope everyone's had a very productive day whether you had to go back to work or whether you were just doing some yard work or around the house or spending family time together with your loved ones I tell you having my kids here uh, through this pandemic we really had more of a bond I mean we've always had a family bond but we've just been enjoying ourselves laughing playing family games and just having fun shopping just having fun that's what it's all about enjoying your family enjoying life in general that's what it's all about and honey you know the kids they love to eat 
So you're gonna make sure you got everything. <laughs> I'm laughing because my big sister up in Atlanta. <laughs> you gotta make sure you got everything on decks. <laughs> like my little sister, my big sister, tell me she got it. She got it all in there, ready for me to go. Yes, Lord, I do. If they say, hey, I want some cookies. I want to bake some cookies. Hey, I just go in there, make up some cookie mix. I'll bake up some cookies. Throw them right over there in that oven. They want some brownies. Last week I made a sheep pan of brownies live. And that video is on, they weren't homemade now. These were store brought in the box I made. But the trick was to make them fudge, I um, eliminated one egg. You see that video, go to my YouTube page at Angela Southern Comfort Dishes. See that YouTube video that I did with the fudge brownies. You'll see that. Um, I think tomorrow we'll probably do a cake. The kids wanted a cake. So, I'll do a cake tomorrow, yellow cake with homemade chocolate fudge icing. I learned how to make that through my grandmother and my mother. So, I'll be doing that. I'll upload that video tomorrow evening sometime. Just a southern girl, honey, who loves, loves to cook. This is all I do is cook. Cooking up in here. Yes, Lord, they cook. And I'll turn. I used to use regular salt. I don't use regular salt anymore. No, honey. I'm hooked down on sea salt. I'm loving it. it tastes so much better. These, these french fries come up and then we're going to be ready to go honey anybody have any summer plans this summer you going out of town let me know in the comments are you going out of town or kids going to grandma house for the summer what are your plans what are some of your plans you're planning to do something fun that everyone is looking forward to doing this summer. I know my kids, they are wanting to go shopping. That's their number one goal, go shopping, or they want to go to Atlanta and stay down there for three or four days. That's what they really want to do. Want to go hang out in Atlanta for three or four days. We were talking about that last night. So let me know some of your cool ideas you like to do. We were also thinking about uh, driving north Going, you know, just hanging out for a day, going to the outlet malls, you know, let me know some cool ideas that you guys have coming up that you're thinking of doing for the summer. Or if you have any special requests that you'd like to see me cook, let me know that too. Leave me a comment below and let me know that and I will surely cook it up for you. Now that's if I eat it <laughs> and that means I don't know how to make it. If I don't, I, if it's something I've never eaten before, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to tell you, not that I don't eat, I don't know how to make it. But leave me a comment. We're going to see. We'll put this through the test. i tell you one thing I will be making that I love, love, love to make is my mother's and my grandmother's homemade dressing. I got that thing down pat. <laughs> got it down pat. My mother makes her, she got her recipe from my grandmother. And I tell you, you make you some homemade dressing, honey. Mm, help me, Lord. And you have you some turkey gravy on it. Or chicken gravy, whatever you like to do. Some ice cold cranberry sauce, honey. Yes, Lord. Low sodium ham with some fried chicken. And some my marriage potato salad. I'm all set. I'm good. Oh, some butter dinner rolls. I'm good, baby. I'm so good. And get that good old-fashioned southern-made peach pie, uh, sweet potato pie, not peach pie, sweet potato pie. I'll be making some sweet potato pies, too. I think I uploaded that recipe to my sweet potato pie. My mother and my grandmother's sweet potato pie that I learned. I just tweaked it my way. I tweaked it my way. That recipe is up. My recipe is up on 
um, Angela's Southern Comfort Dishes on Facebook. So you can get that recipe there. That is one of the ones that I leaked out. These almost done. Look at them. They're almost done. I'll be pulling these up shortly. So what we're going to do is we're going to move these pork chops. I'll just move that here like so. And we'll put the french fries right here. These not the McDonald's french fry, baby. Lord, no. Put a little bit of sea salt up on these bad babies. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Nice and crispy. Lord. I need to be done in just a moment. Remember there, we saved ourselves time. This was a meal in under 60 minutes, as a Rachel Ray would say. <laughs> oh my Lord, this is under in under 60 minutes, honey. And under a full 60 minutes. Mm-hmm. These are done. This thing don't play around with you. This is why I love this Proctor Silex. Now I'll tell you something. I have a three pounder that my daughter that's getting married. My daughter Ashley, she brought me a 30 pounder turkey deep fryer. You could cook donuts in that bad baby. You could put a 20 pound turkey up in there. You can put everything up in it. That bad baby's so big. It's a huge one. It just takes up about six, six to eight gallons of oil. So I said, oh, no, no, no. That's just too much. So that's why you don't see me using that one too much. I and mean, Angela ain't got time. And it takes up the whole section. Real tall. Okay, we're done with these. We're complete. We're going to let these rest for a minute. Crispy fries. They smell so good. These not the Burger King McDonald's fries. <clears throat> Be like, mm -mm, like I told y'all, don't throw that money away. How to get your money? My kids are yeah. Well, listen, I want to share our meal with you tonight. Okay, these are our French fries and our pork chops. I hope you enjoyed this. I appreciate you watching, and I hope that you all have a wonderful. Oh, oh my God! I just dropped one. I'm so sorry. I hope that you guys have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful night. Let me get this one up down here. Oh, I'm sorry, this one fell off. But thank you all for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful night. And thank you for supporting Angela's Southern Comfort Dishes. Have a great night, everyone. Thank you so much.